it was interesting being in a military environment since I was 17 years. I had to work with civilians for the first time, and that was challenging. And just little things would set me off that people in my office would do, and I wouldn't know. I would get so frustrated, and I wouldn't know how to figure it out. And and then it would just crawl up inside me, and I literally and I there were days where I didn't feel I had job satisfaction because I had been out there supporting Marines, and I was in this unique job with great opportunities. It was just didn't feel as fulfilling as as it used to be, and I would sit there and I'd go home crying. I'd put my sunglasses on and I'd walk to work, which is great, but I would cry my entire way home from work and I'd be on my couch crying at you know five o'clock in the evening and then I would call my mom and my mom would give me her advice, you know, tell me what to do and she'd call me back an hour. I'm like, yes, you know, I did this, I did this, I did, you know. Fortunately, I have a strong support system. Talking to my mother, for me, part of, part of it for me is genetic and talking to my mom, my mom about what she's had to go through. And it really sunk in that it is essentially all these things are my brain and I have to take care of my brain. You know, if I had a broken ankle, people would understand that. And I finally said, you know, I have to take care of myself.